In the vast universe of cinematic history, one chapter that sparks both curiosity and nostalgia is the sci-fi epic John Carter. A decade ago, it made its cinematic debut, promising audiences a journey to the mysterious and awe-inspiring Red Planet. However, the path of John Carter was not paved with the success Disney had anticipated, leaving fans with a cliffhanger ending and a thirst for more. Now, as we dust off the artifacts of the past, let's embark on a cosmic expedition to unravel the enigma surrounding John Carter II. Picture this, a charismatic hero, John Carter portrayed by Taylor Kitsch, thrusts into an alien world, Barsoom or as we know it, Mars. Andrew Stanton, renowned for his directorial success with animated gems like Finding Nemo and WALL-E, helmed this live-action spectacle. However, despite Stanton's storytelling prowess, John Carter struggled to find its footing at the box office. The movie, with its grand ambition and a production budget of $307 million, faced a daunting challenge. To transport audiences to a distant planet, introduce them to warring civilizations, and make them care about a hero caught in the throes of an otherworldly conflict. While it made $281 million worldwide, it failed to turn a profit, casting a shadow on the prospects of the Envisage franchise. Have you ever seen the unveiled vision of the gods of Mars? Had the cosmic dice rolled differently, John Carter II would have been titled God of Mars. Andrew Stanton, in an alternate cinematic reality, envisioned a series that would unfold the secrets of Barsoom layer by layer. Each film would feature a different character, delivering the prologue with God of Mars and trusting Lynn Collins' character, Deja Thoris, with this narrative responsibility. The sequel's plot would thicken as Deja's prologue revealed a heartbreaking twist. The abduction of her child, Carthoris, by the shapeshifter, Matai Shang. A reunion between John Carter and his family would be marred by the passage of time, setting the stage for a quest into the bowels of Mars. Here, akin to the surprises beneath the Earth's surface and beneath the planet of the apes, a hidden civilization with advanced technology would be unveiled, orchestrating the planet's functions from below. Do you know about the woes of John Carter who's a victim of circumstance? Despite Stanton's grand design, John Carter failed to secure the future of the Envision trilogy. The movie faced an uphill battle even before its release, with a troubled production history dating back to the 1917 publication of Edgar Rice Burroughs' novel. A complex marketing challenge further compounded its struggles, with fans resorting to recutting trailers in a bid to present the film more coherently. The financial disappointment of John Carter became a harbinger of its unfulfilled sequels. While the $281 million global box office might seem substantial, the colossal production budget left Disney in the red. The irony lies in the fact that the movie about traversing vast distances faced its own insurmountable gap, the financial chasm between earnings and expenditure. Have you heard the echoes of Barsoom or a fandom's call to arms? Despite its cinematic misfortune, John Carter echoes in the corridors of fandom. The disappointment over the unmade sequels has manifested in various forms, from online petitions for a continuation of the story to fan-edited trailers aimed at recapturing the film's essence. The depth of this engagement illustrates a lingering hunger for closure and a desire to explore the unseen realms of Barsoom. The passionate outcry for more John Carter adventures becomes a testament to the potential left untapped. The fervor of the fanbase highlights the emotional investment spurred by the captivating world Stanton sought to create. The resonance of Barsoom in popular culture, fueled by Burroughs' timeless novels and Stanton's visual interpretation, transcends the constraints of a single cinematic outing. Do you know the grand finale is all about ambition and commerce? As we navigate the labyrinth of John Carter and its unmaterialized sequels, a poignant realization emerges. The delicate dance between artistic ambition and commercial viability. Stanton's vision sprawling across multiple films collided with the harsh financial realities of Hollywood. The question of why John Carter II never materialized becomes a symphony of economic caution and creative optimism playing in the grand theater of the film industry. In the cosmic ballet of cinema, where franchises often ascend to greatness, John Carter II stands as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of storytelling. 
The clash between Stanton's imaginative odyssey and the box office calculus unveils the fragility of even the most elaborate cinematic dreams. Yet the echoes of Barsoom resonate, whispering that in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood, the Red Planet might rekindle its allure, inviting a new generation to soar into the unknown. In the next installment of our cosmic exploration, we will unravel the intricate narrative threads Andrew Stanton envisioned for God of Mars and Warlords of Mars, peeling back the layers of unfulfilled talent and hidden revelation that might have shaped the destiny of John Carter on the Red Planet. Let's peel back the layers again to Stanton's unwritten sequels to know more. As we journey deeper into the unexplored territories of Barsoom, Andrew Stanton's intricate plans for John Carter II reveal themselves. The proposed sequel, titled God of Mars, tees a narrative tapestry woven with familial bonds, shape-shifting intrigues, and the revelation of a subterranean world. Stanton's storytelling finesse, honed through animated classics, found expression in the unmade sequels that linger as whispers in the Martian wind. Is God of Mars about a torn family? Let's unveil a world of struggle. The sequel's narrative prologue, entrusted to Lynn Collins' Deja Thoris, set the stage for a rescue mission into the depths of Mars. Hart Thoris, the child of John Carter and Deja, became the focal point of a plot entwined with familial love and the deception of the shapeshifter Matai Sheng. A reunion between Carter and his family unfurled against the backdrop of an underground city controlled by the enigmatic Firstborn. Here, Stanton's vision echoed the classic trope of a hero returning to find a world change, but with an added layer, the revelation of a hidden society manipulating the very foundations of Barsoom. Are you aware of Beneath the Martian Surface? Or about unveiling the unseen, much like the iconic twist in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Stanton's vision for John Carter II ventured beneath the surface of Mars. The revelation of an advanced civilization operating secretively for eons added a layer of intrigue and social commentary. A technology-advanced society hidden beneath the facade of a seemingly primal world mirrored the duality inherent in Barsoom itself. Are you also aware to the difficult financial situation about a sequel lost in the abyss? Yet the dreams of traversing subterranean realms and unraveling the secrets of Mars were eclipsed by the stark reality of Hollywood's financial calculus. The aftermath of John Carter's lukewarm reception left the sequel stranded in the abyss of unfulfilled potential. The financial woes exacerbated by the massive production budget pose a formidable obstacle to Stanton's visionary odyssey. Share this interstellar journey with your fellow adventurers and subscribe for more captivating tales from the cinematic cosmos. And of course, ring that bell icon to stay tuned for our next expedition into the uncharted realms of storytelling. Until then, may your adventures be as epic as those on Barsoom.